Hey guys, it's Harv, good to see you. So it's New Gear Day and I've just received this Cine Bloom filter from Moment, so I'm gonna check it out, run a test and just give you my first impressions. Let's do it. Before we do, it would mean a lot to me if you could hit the notification bell by your subscribe button, just means that you will never miss a video and I probably will do a full review of this product. So definitely hit that and um, means a lot to me. Cheers guys. I'd been vaguely aware of Moment as a company from YouTube videos. I, I think Philip Bloom's been using some of their stuff, but mainly I've been bombarded by advertising from my Instagram feed. It comes packaged in just a really simple box and I appreciate this because I hate it when they use too much plastic in packaging and um, this, this looks great as well. The filter itself comes in this quite cool case. It reminds me of the kind of like a makeup thing that, you know, what do you think? Nice shade. And here is the filter itself. If you're not sure what this Cine Bloom filter does, it's meant to bloom your highlights, soften skin tones, flatten contrast, and kind of take off the digital edge, they say. Now, Moment make two versions of this. They do a 10% and a 20%. This is the 10%. The 20% is a much more pronounced effect. This is more subtle, and that's exactly what I wanted. In terms of build quality, it's super lightweight, and around the outside, it's got this sort of metal, uh, sort of bronzy, rose gold kind of color. One thing instantly that I really like is that it's so slim in terms of its diameter that you can actually attach your lens hood on, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it's also stackable, so you can stack filters on top of it, and you can also use it with your lens hood. So it all it all fits, and it's yeah, that's that's really good. Of course, they do different sizes, and I went for the 77 millimeter, which matches most of my lenses. So let's try it out. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to put it on this camera right now. I have not tried this yet, so let's see what it's like. So here we can see on the left, this is without a filter. And of course on the right, I've added the Cine Bloom 10% filter. Just from eyeballing this, I can definitely notice less contrast on the one with the filter. And my highlight areas definitely look more sort of gentle and subdued. I actually like what it's done to my skin tones as well. I also noticed that it's slightly darker and it has definitely affected the color slightly. A recommendation straight away would be to make sure you do a custom white balance whenever you put this filter on. To really see that blooming effect on the highlights, I thought it'd be nice to get a shot of this beautiful Edison bulb. This is without the Cine Bloom filter. And then when we have a look side by side, you can see there is a really nice sort of halo blooming effect to those highlights. Beautiful. So that's it for now. I imagine I will do a full review of this product because uh, I think it's an interesting one. Um, and some of you might like to know what it can do for your footage. So keep your eyes peeled for that and that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly enjoyed making it for you and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.